Hey guys, how's it going? Happy pink day to you. <laughs> yes, here I am. A little bit. I, I embrace it, people. Look, I didn't plan these. These are all things that I've bought over the years. Black and pink, black and pink, pink. Well, this, this came obviously with these, um, whatever they're called it, sandbag hand weight thingies. Now, it hurts a little bit of smile. I'm gonna update you on why. Um, because I think yesterday, what video did I upload yesterday? Um, I could finally be walk, talking the, what's, what am I? Walking the talk, walking the talk, sorry. I haven't had any coffee yet. Mm, memento por favor. Duh! It didn't. Anyway, here's the deal. So, um, what was I saying? I might be actually walking my talk of shooting my vlogs live, blogging three to five days a week regularly because, again, I've been really spending a lot of time the past two to three weeks uh, when I've been sick and being forced to be in bed and, and whatnot um, to read some great books. Yes, a ton of you guys are asking me to share that with you. Um, what books I'm reading, you know, that are helping me kind of get organized, be more productive, be more efficient. I think that's it, more, more efficient. You know, simple things like, you know, I have Evernote on all my phones, right? And I, I don't use it, why? Because like so many things, I get something and I'm like, yeah, that's gonna help me. And then I sit down to use it and I don't understand something. And so immediately in my head I go, oh, I, and this is what I wrote my blog post on yesterday. I don't have time to do that. I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. It's gonna take too much time, so I'll do it later. And then I just keep pushing it off, pushing it off, and pushing it off, and then it's like, all the things that I bought, remember, in December, which to me seems like yesterday. The end of the year seems like yesterday. This struck me the past week when I was realizing that it was May, that it was almost June, that almost half the year, we're coming up on half the year being over. And to me, this first half of the year, it just feels like a blur. Um, from being that busy, that sick, still is hurting me to talk a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. I just got a text that was unexpected. Um, <laughs> can't share it with you. Um, <laughs> I have to write back to this. It'll take me two seconds. Um, so, anyway, I'm shooting a video right now. I'll be with you shortly on that note. Okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, you will certainly see soon on my blog. I posted my blog post yesterday. It had been two weeks. Two weeks since I posted a blog. Um, I've been regular in, <laughs> that sounds like a Metamucil commercial. I've been regular in putting up my videos and then, you know, half the time the videos are delayed and then I'm getting them on the blog, blah, blah, blah. And why? Because again, this was what my blog post was about yesterday. Can't, won't, and don't. It's like, oh, I don't have time to sit down and write a blog post. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I should have put not in there as well. Um, but anyway, a lot of the stuff, um, whether it's for my, you know, fitness journey this year and, and progress that I've made, it's just kind of facing things about yourself, whether it's habits or a mind thought, a, a mind, a thought process, um, attitudes, whatever, all of that stuff can be so, I'm going to say one of the most important parts of your success in you're reaching your fitness goals, in your professional life, in your personal life, whatever. You have to be able to, you know, I've heard so many people, some people that I know personally, some people that are not in my life anymore, people in my family, people in my work life. You ever heard somebody that says, well, that's just the way I am, you know, that, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's bullshit. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Each one of us has the ability to change. For those of you that, you know, maybe you've just been watching my videos for a while, you poor thing. But for people that know me personally, that know me now, the changes that I have made in myself, this doesn't mean you change your personality. It means you change your attitude. It means you change your habits. It means you, um, you know, it's mostly about attitude and habits and, and belief in yourself. And when you do that, everything can change. But if you're gonna be a pain in the, okay, I'm trying to keep the swearing down. You can be a pain in the butt and go, I can't do that, that's just the way I am. 
that's the kind of mindset and thought process that kept me from thinking that I can't run. You know, I bring up that example a lot, but I say that for 10 years. I remember I always wanted to, to run, not in marathons and whatever, but just to be able to go out for a run. And now I enjoy it. I enjoy running as kind of a, I call myself like a random runner. I don't run every day. I don't only run. I love other forms of cardio, but I really love to run. And it took me really being inspired by Amy Burford, seeing that she'd never run before. She got into it, did it, did a 5K, did a half K, like I buy a new pair of shoes. And I was like, and I told her, I can't run, I get cramps all the time, my knee hurts me. Well, it really wasn't my knee. I think I was just making that up to try to put something that was reasonable for why I can't run. Because I heard a lot of people say that they have bad knee. I didn't have a bad knee, it was my breathing. I couldn't figure out my breathing, which is, is it's always a challenge with me. <laughs> challenge of the dentist yesterday, which I'm getting to in a minute. Um, not really, but it, it's something that the way you breathe and, and the way that you breathe or don't breathe correctly when you're, for example, public speaking. Um, why do people always call me when I'm shooting a vlog? Hold on. I just want to make sure it's not my mom. And of course, it's my mother. One second. Hey, I'm just finishing my video. Can I call you back in about, I've got four minutes left? No, I'll call you back. Love you. Bye. She's always like, Kelly, don't worry about it. I know you have a job and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mom, I can just call you back. Mothers, God bless them, especially my mom. And for those of you really quickly that have been asking, first of all, cheers for my Park City mug. Oh, it's so good. Mom is doing much better that she's had her first radiation treatments this week. That's what she's on the way home from. Um, her hair is growing back. She's very excited about that. I think she wishes that her hair was going to be a little bit more like a Chia Pet and just whoosh, grow back. But I told her she could borrow some of my sheer wigs if she wanted to or my Halloween costumes and she didn't take me up on that. So whatever. Um, anyway, the whole running thing. As soon as I changed my mindset and get, had, it, had a, like a humble, teachable attitude about that, I figured it out and I found out that I love running and now running is like a joy in my life. Some people close themselves off and they're so stubborn and really if you take the time, um, I'm sorry, I'm just on fire about this. If you take the time to like figure yourself out and be humble enough to look at yourself and go, why do I do that? It's like, you guys, I share stuff with you, not because I'm proud of it. I mean, a lot of the stuff I share with you that I've figured out about my bad habits it's really ridiculous, but I'm sharing it with you because we all do ridiculous things. And if you can push that stuff out of the way, that's how you get successful. Okay. Remember I told you that in my old house, I figured out like there was something that happened that upset me and I was sitting on my couch and I immediately was like, screw this. I'm going to go eat something. And I, and I took a step back and I had this moment of clarity going, this is what I do when I'm angry. I go to eat. Now, do I really understand why? In the past, when I got angry, my first thought process was to eat. I'm sure a psychologist or a psychiatrist would probably lock me up. No, but they would say something like, you know, you're self-sabotaging, whatever you want to call it. If you hate to put a name on it, okay, call it whatever you want. Figure that stuff out because when you figure it out, then you start to notice it about yourself more. And then you're like, you know what? I am not going to eat when I get mad. Instead, I'm going to do you know, plank hold for a minute and then I'm going to feel better about my stomach and then that's going to make me eat something more healthy. And screw that instead of like going and ordering a pizza, like a Giordano's pizza late at night and eating it all by yourself. Not that I've ever done that, but I'm just saying. So I got to wrap it up. I haven't vlogged in a couple days and I have a lot to share with you. So I've got like a minute and 13 seconds and I'm going to try to stick with it because my last vlogs, I got so excited and so amped to tell you stuff. So I got to settle down and shoot some other vlogs and I'll tell you that but really quickly. Here's what I was referring to about my mouth. Friday, <laughs> Friday, I guess I could take this off. Friday, <clears throat> I went for a massage and have the best massage lady ever. If you're in Chicago in the Northwest suburbs area, you need to email me and I will let you know. Also, I'll be getting to these over in my notes in a minute. Um, remember I told you about this? I've re realized now, do, can you see the hair? I have like really fine baby blonde hair on my body. In the past, when I would go to shut my polar huff, one second, and I press this button, it was grabbing those little hairs and it was hurting me. It was making me squeal. So now I take that off. Why did I share that with you? I have no idea. Anyway, golly, I just took a minute to do nothing. 
you probably watch this every day and say, that's what you do every day. I'm gonna be two minutes over, max. Went to get my massage on uh, Friday, came out of my massage, and she, you know how they give you like water, and they say drink a lot of water, and then they give you um, mints and stuff like that. So I took one of these wintergreen mints. I just wanna tell you what I'm taking off so you don't get any ideas. Um, and so she gave me a mint and I'm walking out to my car like all zen and feeling happy and she's like, you know, your legs are feeling great and blah, 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 and your flexibility. And I'm like, thanks, I feel fat today, but thanks, I appreciate it. So I'm walking and I'm chewing this um, mint and I keep note, I'm like, God, that's like really hard. This mint is really hard. And I'm like, that's, golly, this mint is, and then I had this like moment of, I'm not, I'm gonna swear. I was like, oh shit. And then I was like, and then I felt my tongue against my tooth, and I'm like, <laughs> this is a PB Harmon moment. I'm like, that's not the mint, that's my tooth. So this damn mint, on, you can't say it. It literally knocked off a whole quarter of one of my molars in the back. So I, and then by that time, this is really gonna gross you out. I had <laughs> Because people are like, well, don't worry. If you save that little piece, you can just take it to the dentist. They'll glue it back on. I'm like, apparently, I finished chewing it well enough that I swallowed my tooth. How does that feel? <laughs> I swallow my own teeth. So a quarter of the tooth, and, you know, I had, like, little pieces that came out, and I was like, oh, oh. I called Michael. I'm like, you are not going to believe what just happened to me. Ah! I feel like a drama queen because I'm like, really? <laughs> what else could happen to me in the past? five to six weeks, sit me for vacation, go on vacation, come back and get strep throat, take, get, take antibiotics for strep throat, three days after my antibiotics are done, I get sick again, sick for a week, go to the urgent care, walking pneumonia, they give me biaxin, that quadruples me over in like stomach pain, I stopped the biaxin, that dragged out, you know, still being sick for another seven days, finally feel better, I'm like, oh great, Aunt Flo is gonna be here any day, which I'm sure is gonna happen tomorrow. And then <laughs> I have this, so I went to the dentist, um, and incidentally, when I went to yoga on Monday morning, I'm at 12 minutes, the uh, gal at the yoga place said she did the exact same thing on Friday. How weird is that? How does it relate to your life? I have no idea. But happened to her, she went to the dentist, she's like, no big deal. So I finally went to the dentist. You guys that have been watching me know, I have needed to go to the dentist for years. It's embarrassing. I'm a 44-year-old woman acting like a two-year-old. But I finally went, why? Because I had to, because it's literally like, I said two years ago that I would go because I have a, a, a root canal that needed to be fixed. In the past, I've only had one root canal. And um, so I've been saying for two years, finally it was literally feeling like mentally, like God was just going, really? Okay, go to the dentist! <sighs> so I went to the dentist and I'm sitting there chant, like praying and like I'd done all these little <sighs> I am, I hate the dentist, I hate everything about the dentist, but all I'm gonna say is I went yesterday in the morning, they did all the x-rays, that, we'll get to that in my next video. I had two root canals last night, one and two. Now they told me when they went in they were only doing one. So those little sneaky people, God bless them, but I was kinda like, uh, are you finished? And they're like, two root canals, and I'm like, two? Are you serious? And uh, here I am now, I, I will tell you, I was pleasantly surprised to wake up today with really, I mean, I was expecting, if you can see my counter, I had laid out all my Advil and stuff and I'm like, I'm gonna be ready to face the day, I'm gonna be really sore, as you can tell. No soreness, I just got up, I had a kick-ass workout. You know, I, I do still have, he told me to not eat, you know, like hard, <laughs> hard food for a while. Um, so I'm gonna be having my overnight oats and probably eggs and, you know, soft stuff like that. I won't be doing any steak or anything for a day or so. Um, nothing but ice cream, that's what I told Michael. But um, I was pleasantly surprised to wake up and have no pain, did that, and I go back on Monday for them to fix this one. We have a lot of work to do for like the next month, and then after that, um, we're gonna do maybe some whitening treatments and uh, you know, cosmetic, more cosmetic stuff. But we're gonna work on fixing all the stuff I've been avoiding for years, and guess what, you guys? I just feel better about it. I faced my fears, I faced everything that I've been putting off. Um, it's not pleasurable by any means, but it wasn't the end of the world. Um, the only thing everybody was asking, with, you know, what's the worst part about a root canal? It's a 50 minute vlog, damn it! Um, the worst part to me, because I was making sure I was paying attention to like experience the whole thing. 
the worst, single worst part about it. Yeah, the smell's bad. Yeah, you, you hear the drilling and you can kind of like feel what's going on in there in a way. It doesn't hurt, but you can feel it. I could take all that. The worst part is that, you know, you have your mouth open, with that big plastic thing on it. And I just started to mentally get panicked about being able to swallow. And I kept going, you know, there were a few times where I, I'm breathing and I'm like, I can't swallow, I can't swallow. And I'm like, now, <laughs> someone's gonna take pieces of this video, <laughs> make really inappropriate comments. But honestly, that was like the, the worst part. So I was coming home to get my prescription, which I have to take another one. And in the car on the way back, if anybody saw me, I was literally stopped at a stoplight going, like practicing for Monday. Cause I know I have one more, so I'm practicing. <laughs> Cause I kept thinking like in, in my head, I'm like, I need to swallow. And I had swallowed before, but then I just was getting paranoid. I'm like, I can't. And then I'm like, oh, and then I'm just, I just prayed really. I prayed and I took a deep breath. Cause I'm like, you've been swallowing for an hour and a half. You're fine. But you also don't have saliva in your throat. So anyway, all that to say, it's not a big deal. Um, and maybe I'll have them give me a little bit more gas and just punch me in the face and knock me out for the, for the time. So I don't even, I'm not aware because I was awake sadly for myself. But anyway, it's okay. I feel better. I have two beautiful white teeth that are stronger and I went 16 minutes and I'm sorry.